Millions have been following the Johnny Depp Amber Heard defamation trial, but very few understand what's really going on and what this trial is really all about. Well, not you. We're going to find out what a number of pundits are noticing is the real story going on here. And if you stick with me to the very end of this video, you'll learn why the Depp Heard trial goes way beyond the troubled exploits of Hollywood celebrity, but actually sheds light on a new kind of world that's emerging right before our very eyes. You are not going to want to miss this. Greetings, everyone. Dr. Steve here with you. Great to be with you. As always, I am your daily fake news antidote. So coming into your Patriot Professor's Den, we're happy to think better so you can feel better in these crazy and turbulent times. So if you haven't done so, you know what to do. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe. Um, before we dive into things here, as you know, I recently retired from academia to go full time. Here is your Patriot Professor fighting for freedom and bringing the good news of patriotic conservatism to people all over the world. But I need your support support to help me keep my business going on in the midst of constant threats from cancel culture. So my team and I have created an amazing merch store with the best designs in the world. All you got to do is click on that link below and you'll see that we've got some of the best Patriot gear where you can pick out something that spreads hope and supports my channel here at the very same time. So make sure to click on that link below and get your Patriot merch today. These designs are punchy, they're fun, but they're not going to stick around for long. So click on that link in the description below to both support me and spread Patriot hope far and wide and i cannot thank you enough for it all right gang let's dive right in here well i'm sure many of you have been following the or ignoring the johnny depp amber heard defamation trial that's been taking place over the last couple of weeks either way it's a case trial that's dominated the headlines of late and thus you're either following it or you are basically ignoring it Regardless, the actor Johnny Depp has brought a $50 million lawsuit against his ex-wife, Amber Heard. They were only married for 15 months, but were quickly finding out that it was an incredibly toxic relationship, but one that Depp adamantly denies ever involved him physically abusing Heard. But that, unfortunately, is what people have been led to believe, given that that's what Heard claimed in a Washington Post article a couple years back. It was an op-ed that claimed that she was a victim of domestic violence, which Depp is arguing basically sank his career. Disney severed their ties with him and the Jack Sparrow franchise shortly after the op-ed was published. And so Depp is suing Heard for $50 million, and the details that are emerging about the couple's life together are frankly shocking, if not downright sad. Details of feces left in the bed, uh, Depp losing part of his finger when Amber allegedly threw a glass at him, drug and alcohol allegations, and video of furious drunken exchanges between the couple have now been viewed by tens of millions of onlookers. And in the process, there's been no shortage of assessments as to who was in the right, and what a horrible person Amber Heard really is. Even pieces on the celebrities who were siding with either Depp or Heard and on and on. But for me, what I find most fascinating in the midst of all of these pontifications are a slew of pieces that have been written of late on the Depp Heard trial and how it's bringing an end to the whole modern notion of celebrity. Take a look at this headline from The Guardian. Depp versus Heard, second week of trial takes sheen off celebrity glamour. Or this one from The Rap, Johnny Depp just killed the Hollywood celebrity with a little help from Will Smith. <laughs> and here's the byline, movie stars have been shrinking for decades, but never before have they sunk quite so low is fame finally over. And these are very interesting pieces in that they both recognize that the Hollywood celebrity or celebrities in general, once considered an icon of modern life, are indeed beginning to wane. Their allure, their splendor is disappearing as we speak, and as such, what the Depp Heard trial, as well as the Will Smith slap, are doing is they're only hastening a process that's been happening for some time now, the slow but sure demise of the Hollywood celebrity. Now, as far as these pundits are concerned, this demise is happening because the mystique of the Hollywood celebrity 
has been in decline for some time. In, in earlier decades, the persona of Hollywood celebrities, it was carefully guarded. The images of stars were closely managed and protected by studio chiefs and publicity agents. There were scandals for sure, but the scandals were highly and effectively managed by the PR team of the celebrity. Well, those days are obviously gone. We now know everything about a celebrity. As the Depp versus Hurd case illustrates, we often learn more than we want to, right? TMI, as they say, too much information. But again, as these pundits note, in order for fame to work, it requires a certain mystique. And that's because film stars are supposed to be larger than life, both on and off the screen. And this is, a, this is particularly important given what the cultural critic Christopher Lash pointed out in his book, The Culture of Narcissism, written decades ago. So it was very, very forward-looking, very prescient. Lash noted that while most people in the modern era would still define success as riches, fame, and power— Nevertheless, it became apparent that people were not particularly interested in how one became rich and famous. So back in the day, one was famous because one did something of note, right? There was substance to his or her achievements. But Lash noticed increasingly in the modern age, the rise of celebrity created a different kind of fame. Whereas fame once depended on the performance of notable deeds acclaimed in biography and works of history, celebrity became the reward of those who project a vivid or pleasing exterior, having otherwise attracted attention to themselves. These are the ones who are famous for having made it to the latest gossip column. They haven't necessarily achieved anything of note. Instead, they are like the Kardashians, simply famous for being famous. And what these pundits are noting here about Depp and Hearn, in order for modern celebrity to work, precisely because it's not built on anything heroic or historical that the persons have done, celebrity needs the veneer of mystique and of being larger than life to work. But that veneer is precisely what's being pulled away in this trial. And as such, the Hollywood celebrity icon is shattering right before our very eyes. Now, while I appreciate this analysis, I think what's happening here actually goes a lot deeper than what these analysts have observed. And therefore, what's happening is even more profound. What Lash didn't seem to answer is the question, why are we so fascinated by celebrities? Why are they so meaningful to our lives? Well, in order to answer that, we have to understand really what a Hollywood icon is. Cultural anthropologists and critics have long recognized that modern celebrities are basically akin to secularized gods. After all, film stars have long been talked about as, you know, the goddesses of Hollywood. Uh, we're all very familiar with the term diva, meaning divine for female opera singers. We often talk about rock gods, pop idols, American Idol. Nowhere do we see this kind of celebrity worship more on display than when a pop celebrity dies. When celebrities like Princess Diana or Michael Jackson suddenly passed away, we saw people taking to the streets and expressing a level of grief that many see as a kind of religious outpouring. The English writer and columnist Julie Burchill actually called Princess Diana after her death a, quote, sexy saint. Now, what's important here is that obviously the kind of infatuation with celebrity that's characterized by so many in the modern world is not, strictly speaking, a religion. But scholars have noted that celebrity worship, for lack of a better term, is what some have called a functional equivalence to religion, in that pop culture has largely filled the void left by religion in the midst of our secular age. Celebrity culture, popular culture— it's seen as in some way performing a number of functions that were previously fulfilled by religion, particularly when it comes to providing a source of identity and meaning for our lives. In this sense, celebrities are akin to the Greek gods or the saints. They exist in a mythic world of stories and tales. Celebrity stories are kind of like tales from Mount Olympus. When we read about celebrities in the scriptures of the gossip columnists, they're not like us, and yet they are. They live in a sort of parallel world, which is real and yet unreal. And like Greek mythology, 
Celebrity stories are peopled with the incredibly beautiful and the hopelessly flawed, angels and demons, saints and sinners, venerable and venal. <laughs> I, I'm tempted to say dep and herd, but I will refrain. Now, if this is the case, the celebrities are the secularized functional equivalent of religion, of gods and of saints. And if the cult of celebrity is beginning to wane, as all of these pundits seem to think, then what does that say about the secular age in which we found ourselves these last several decades? Could it be that that secular age is waning as well? That's precisely what a growing number of scholars are indeed predicting. For many pundits and commentators, the Depp Heard trial is really all about the end of celebrity culture, the end of celebrity worship, and in many respects, the end of a secular age. What actually replaces this waning celebrity worship is anyone's guess, but given the rise of a post-secular world, I, for one, am hoping that these artificial deities and saints will be inevitably and inexorably eclipsed by ones far more enduring, far more beautiful than what we find in the latest gossip column. Now, before you go, you will definitely want to check out my latest video I just uploaded on how Biden's ridiculous Ministry of Truth is already imploding. You are not going to want to miss it. So make sure to click on the link and I'll see you over there. God bless.